So after we read the story of the dot by Peter Reynolds, students had the opportunity to create their own dot paintings. We looked at the work of a famous artist named Wassily Kandinsky. Kandinsky is an artist from Russia who was known as an expressionist painter um, or an abstract painter. He liked to create works of art um, where he would play with lines and shapes and colors. So he was not trying to create art that was realistic. He didn't want to make things look exactly how they look in real life. He had fun just experimenting with painting different colors, lines, and shapes. So I'm going to just show you some examples of his paintings. Kandinsky is known also for listening to um, classical music while he painted, and he would let the sounds of the instruments kind of guide the way he would make his paint strokes. So you can kind of tell when he was hearing something that was very fast paced or slow, maybe loud, soft. One of Kandinsky's most famous paintings is called Squares with Concentric Circles or Rings. And this is a very small example of this painting. It's actually a postcard. Um, concentric circles are circles inside circles inside other circles. So Kandinsky created this by painting a circle, right? And then painting another circle outside of that and then kept going. You'll notice that he had um, one in the middle, and then one, two, three more rings. So if you would like to try to make a painting just like Kandinsky, you would do a dot in the middle, and then paint three more rings outside that dot. You'll also notice that Kandinsky tried to not let the colors touch, and he also tried to use colors that were complementary, or colors that would um, help the others pop. So he didn't just do a blue and then a light blue, um, and then maybe a different shade of blue. He had a blue dot, so then the next color he chose was red, because it really makes that blue pop. So when you try to make your painting, think about what colors you can use that are complementary or opposites, colors that will really bring out the ones next to it. For this project, you can choose to use paint in a paintbrush, maybe watercolors or tempera paint, acrylic paint, whatever you have at home. You could use markers, colored pencils, anything that you have. You will need a square piece of paper. And remember a square means equal on all four sides. So all four sides are the same. For this project, I am going to use my bingo dabbers. Um, I found that these were really fun to create the dots and um, students here use those as well, but you can use whatever you'd like. Um, to help you find the center of your paper, I'm gonna teach you a little trick. What you're gonna do is fold your paper in half once. So making sure that you're connecting the corners. So the corners are meeting here and at the bottom here. And then you're going to press down, you're gonna pinch along the folds to make sure that the sides match up evenly. And then you're gonna take that fold and you're gonna fold it in half again. Finally, you're going to open up your paper and you'll see that you'd split it into these four smaller sections, these four square sections. And the reason why I did this is to help me find the center of the paper. So now I can clearly see where the center of the paper is. I'm going to just tape this up here so you can see me get started. And then you guys can find your materials and start creating your own dot paintings. You'll see up on the board here that I have some examples of the dot paintings that friends here in school created. Some people chose to draw their circles with pencil first before they went in and colored. I'm just gonna go for it. So I'm going to start with a purple dot right in the middle. I'm gonna shape this a little bit and then press down and just start moving this in a circular motion. Extension 
So I'm not going to use a color that's similar to this violet, to this purple. I'm going to use a totally different color that will make it pop. I'm going to use orange. And again, Kandinsky's circles had three rings outside the middle. You can make three rings outside the middle or you can make more than that. It's up to you. Next, I'm gonna use some blue. You'll notice that he had some thinner rings and then some thicker ones. So with the blue, I'm gonna make a thinner ring. So I'm going to let you guys go ahead and try to make your own dot painting. Remember to try to fill up all of the space. And when you're done, just like Vashti's art teacher said, make sure that you sign it. When you are done creating your painting, what you're going to do is add a response, click add a response, and then you're going to go to photo hold up your finished artwork so that it fits in the screen. I want to be able to see the whole thing and then take a photo. Just click the camera icon. And if you'd like to, you can also record yourself explaining your work. You could tell me what you love about it, what was difficult about it, or anything else you want to say about your artwork. Once you have your picture done, you're going to just click the check mark and I'll be able to see it and comment on your artwork. Have fun!